Good morning, everyone. It's the 1st of June, and my mother is visiting from Canada tomorrow morning, so I don't know if I'll be able to do many vlogs over the next two weeks. So I decided to show you something that's just started in Wexford. It's a European-based company, but it's very handy. It started around the 17th of May around Wexford, and it's called uh, Bolt. It's an electric bike that you can rent and I'll put the links up right here show you it's 18 cents a minute and there's certain locations all over Wexford town that you drive it to so you you basically just scan the barcode it starts it up you drive around and it charges you 18 cents a minute and when you drop it off at the one of the endpoints and log up you pay for it it's uh, very handy um, there, you know, if you don't put it in the uh, designated spots, though, I think they charge you a 35 euro fee. Um, my friend who owns the uh, the bike uh, company at the end of um, the end of the main street, um, Thomas Kelly, uh, Kelstar, they uh, service these bikes. I know Thomas Kelly has his own company that sells these bikes, uh, well, electric bikes that you can buy on your own. But this is handy for people that maybe don't have the place to keep it or the funds to have it you could just use it as you need to um, if you notice I'm wearing this hat this was a gift uh, from one of my subscribers we had uh, four subscribers that came from Ottawa uh, Ontario and Canada and they met up with us and they gave me this lovely hat as well with some uh, some maple syrup and also they gave me um, an Emily uh, a lovely carving board with um, our pictures on it so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how about this works. I got my two GoPros set up. I got one that's going to be, we're going to fix it, try to fix it on the bike somewhere. And the other one on my wrist, we're going to drive around and we'll show you uh, how the experience is of using one of these Bolt bikes. And here's the bike. Let's take a look at a little thumbnail. And here's the bikes in general. And see their their service and they're designed by the, the sign here so let's just get this going and uh see how we register it and set it up and we'll take it for a trip well that was a bit of waste of time i uh tried about 10 minutes now there's a problem with the credit card machine accepting it or my branch for security because i think the um the area that the company's base is in the Netherlands. So when they tried the transaction to set it up, they give you a 0 uh, 0 0.00 payment just to authorize, see if your card works and that, but obviously it kicked back. I got an alert from my phone asking about suspicious uh, work and that, and I, I said, no, why? It says yes or no, and I said, yeah, it's okay. But then when I went to try to reapply it each time, it just didn't accept it. It just it wouldn't even let it process it. So um, plan B is I'm just going to go and check it on my laptop and see if there's any way I can do a payment for it or something like that ahead of time. And we'll see if I can get back and going. Well, just to let you know, give you an update of what's happened. Um, I've been on hold for over half an hour with my bank because I tried to transaction with my credit card on the Bolt system, they thought it was fraudulent because it was a 0, 0.00 amount, and it locked my card. And then I tried the other card I have, my Visa, and that one didn't work, my uh, you know my debit card. So then I said, okay, I'm going to do my uh, Revolut card. So I went to put money from my card into my Revolut account, and then it's declined because apparently the fraud team wiped my card so now i have to call the fraud lines say like it's been 31 minutes now to get my cards activated again and let them know so then so just it's a good note maybe not use your bank cards because the account comes from like a uh, netherlands and so it might be considered suspicious for your bank so definitely use the revolute cards the revolute cards um, just top up before that and it should be less hassle like right now I need to get it unlocked because all my cards are locked so that's not a fun part so 
hopefully it'll get rectified and then we'll get started back onto the bike. Okay, so after about 38 minutes on hold with the fraud section of permanent TSB, they unblocked my uh, credit card, debit card. I transferred uh, 30 euros to my Revolut card, which I'll be using now. Um, don't want to go through that again. Um, it, I guess it's a security features and that, so maybe uh, check with your bank before you use it for the first time, just so you don't have to go through this hassle. Um, anyways, we're gonna go to the bike. It's still there. There's a couple less than the last time, so it is being used. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five bikes there now. There was seven when we were here before. So let's give her a shot. Try to log on and see if we can get this going. The icon here for the bike where I'm at. I'm gonna scan the code. So you press on the barcode here to scan. There we go. Very good. Start to ride. Okay. There. It's unlocked. You heard that? And you can see on you can see on the uh, thing it has zero kilometers in that. So I'm gonna put the uh, phone in my handy pocket. We'll take off the bike and we'll try to give her a shot. So put this up. And we'll set this up so it's looking at me. All right. Wow. So it's going pretty good. It's fast. You just have to move your feet and uh, the brakes work. All right. So we're up and running on a bike path. Wow, it just, it really does pick up. Now the handlebar seems a little loose, like I'm moving it and the wheels are straight. So that part seems a bit interesting. It's going 25 kilometers an hour right now. I'm going against the traffic, so I'm going to try to cut across to the other side. So now we're on the proper side of the road. It's been about, I would say, 10 years, 15 years since I've been on a bike. <laughs> it's a handy way to go though. You just move your feet there and, uh, and the bike does all the work for you. It's uh, three quarters of a charge, it says. I don't know if the wind is uh, picking up this or the... I'm gonna head down uh, by the hospital road, go down there and uh, we'll head towards the, uh, the uh, key in Wexford Town. Yeah, so just to give you some uh, insight on my YouTube channel, I started about nine months ago. We're trying to get up to, I wanna get a thousand subscribers because as the faster you get the thousand subscribers, you can start monetizing and then uh, help support it. Right now I'm 100% funding all of the places I'm visiting and events I'm going to. Uh, like I said, I'll go into Scotland in the 20, uh, 21st of July. And then I have Nepal on the, 20, the 24th. I leave from Dublin to go to Nepal in September for a month. The best way that you could uh, support me don't really need financially right now. I just want you to hit that subscribe button. It helps with the algorithms and it helps support my channel and help me get there. The watch hours, we're doing really good. I'm at 4,500 watch hours and I have about 40,000 views. I just need to uh, hit the uh, subscribers, uh, get it a little bit higher. Now we're going 35 kilometers an hour. Jeez, so it flies really. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been on a bike. It does really fly though. It's pretty handy. 
And like I said, it will give you, it's 18 cents a minute to travel. We're back up to the almost 30 kilometers an hour. Try not to lose my hat. <laughs> I'll slow down with the brakes. Coming up to the roundabout. Now we'll take the roundabout like a, a vehicle. We'll just Here's that there. Like I said, we're heading towards the town. And then we'll park up the bike and see how much that costs. It's probably about, I'd say three to four, let's say one, two, three, about four or five kilometers to the places. Now, all you have to do is check the app for places where you could drop the bike off. Like I said, so if you're coming here to Wexford on a holiday and you don't have a bike with you and you don't want to use the taxis, it's a handy, handy app that you could just upload onto your phone and use um, to go from one part of the town to the other. Like I said, when I went up to the, to the match in uh, Wexford Park the other day, I saw there was a place right outside the Western Park. So if you're downtown heading up to the park, it'd be real handy to get to. You just log onto the bike, pay the 18 cents a minute, and in like four or five minutes you're up there. It's handier than even the uh, local link buses. Just have to get used to riding these things. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been on a bike. But they say, you never forget how to ride a bike. Well, maybe the balance part, but the hand-eye coordination is a little to be desired. So we're going to head down here, get into town. I will sign off this bike. And what we'll do is walk around the town. I'm going to do some uh, admin and then I'll head out to uh, get another bike to get home and it'll give you a summarize on how much it would cost you to do this journey as opposed to um, getting a taxi or a bus or walking in like the walk in takes several uh, takes a quite a bit of time Uh, to get, takes about maybe 35 minutes from my place. And we've been gone for a couple of minutes. So it's well worth the while. Keeping in mind the uh, debacle I had with the card situation, but you know, it's the fraud thing there is to protect you. So now we're going up a hill and we're still at 20 some odd kilometers an hour. It has a handy little basket in front, you can see. So if you do shopping or get bags, I myself have my backpack on. So now we're right on the key. Pass out that bike. She's using the old fashioned way. Pedal speed. Like I said, a little bit of whoopee. They're a bit bigger bike than a normal pedal cycle. Okay. Now 
we have to find a place where the bikes go. I know there's some in Maudlin Town, but I'm sure there's some around here. I can check the app in a minute, but we'll get down here and uh, we'll see. A spot right at uh, Redmond Square and now we'll log off the oak and see how, how much it costed. Just opening up the app now and ride. To avoid parking fees up to six please park query okay yeah Yeah, it's good. It's loading. How are you? Oh, God. And it's right. Oh, it gets it all about them. Well, I just took it. I'm doing a little YouTube vlog of... Uh, I do uh, Wexford Town. I've been in uh, the north. I'm going to Scotland and then... Oh, cool. cool. And I'm heading off to uh, Nepal soon. But I, I figured it would be a good handy thing. They, they started this in the middle of May. Yeah, that's right. They're, they're, they've only come around. Yeah, they're, they're, it's a big European company. It's they're they're Netherlands. I think they're home base. Yeah, because they and they do uh, kind of ride sharing and cars too, don't they? Yeah, and you could set it up to. There's two when you, you, you don't. Two speeds, isn't it? Yeah, 15 and 25. Uh, I had a little bit of a hard time this morning logging on because my credit card thought it was a fraudulent thing. Oh yeah. Because. Yeah. They test it and they put a 0, 0.00 fee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To activate it. It's quite common with a lot yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But then yeah. the, the credit card said, "Well, wait, that sounds dodgy." From Netherlands, 0.0, 0, 0, and they yeah. blocked it. So I then I said, "Oh, I use my other card," but they blocked the cards. God. So when I when I thought about it, I said, "I should have used my Revolut." Yeah, yeah. So I went to put I went to yeah. put my money on Revolut, <laughs> and it wouldn't let me transfer. Oh, no. So I spent 35 minutes on hold with the fraud department just to get it a block. It was. Once I got in, it was fine, but yeah. So this this cost me like uh, one euro something to go from my house is up by the race course yeah. into town. Yeah, and, handy though. Yeah, and then it, it and actually it, it costs you oh, it costs you eight euro. Yeah, and it's a nicer ride in, faster. You know? It's it's really fast. Like you just you don't even really have to pedal. It just and you, you just break it and. And I think you can park them I, everywhere yeah. here because if I you. I sent you a message. Yeah. Like if, um, could, if you park it outside the green box. But it's, it's, they you give know. you a six euro fee. Okay, okay. And if you park it not in the designated area, they'll charge you, I think it's 35 euros. And so the app kind of tells you anyway. Yeah, yeah, the app has, if you look at it, it has all the locations. Yeah, and you, yeah. And you see the little bars? That tells you the availability of bikes it's in great. the area. Yeah, it's great. Now, I've got my, own, I've got my electric bike. I use, I use it for around town. I've yeah. Got, but if you're not, if yeah. you're here on holidays or Brilliant. Yeah, even exactly. at, by my house, we go, we leave I, for work or whatever, come back, and there's about 15 of them in there. Yeah, yeah. And that's just because I think a lot of kids will use it. You're downtown, you're, you yeah. just jump on the bike. A and that's great to hear that the cost, it's just over a euro. That's brilliant. It's yeah. 18 cents a minute. And that's got to be kind of your average, because if you're going to go from point A to B, yeah. if you're going to use it kind of obviously for an hour or two, then you're going to... Yeah, so I heard uh, some of them were thrown on the road there the other day. Well, that's what's going to happen. Some people will road. vandalize, won't they? But they're, they're very sturdy. I know your man, uh, um, Thomas Kelly. You know uh, Kelstar? Yeah, we, yeah, we were in there yesterday. Yeah. He made, he does all the maintenance on it. Oh, does he? Oh, yeah. Oh, good, good. So they're, you know, because they have they have excellent uh, bikes. He's, he swaps out the batteries. Yes, yeah. I've actually gone in. Like they're yeah. they're very reasonable. Before I before he was around, it was costing like. Because I work in insurance, a lot of people put bikes on their homes and that for insurance, and yeah. they were about four or five thousand. Yeah. He came in, and he his is a reasonable. It's about twelve hundred, fourteen hundred. Yesterday, yeah. I got mine in the yeah sales car bike yeah. shop. 
but I got it for the bike to work, so it kind of... He did that, that too, he He's has that, old, and it's it's a really handy yeah, yeah. system. Like, they're more affordable now, but, but I like the idea of this is, you don't have to keep it in your house, you don't have to keep it anywhere, and... Yeah. No, it's perfect, and I'll, I think they have to open water, but I'm not sure if it's the same one, but yeah. um, it's, it's great. Oh, it's I, a great service. The and thing is, they have to make works for a safer area for yeah. because it is quite bad. It's an old city streets and... Yeah, like, like all this, there's no need for all of this traffic really, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they, they should really... I noticed the councillors have gone off to the Netherlands <laughs> to have a look. Yeah, well, you know? I know, but I thought it was... Uh, I wanted to try it out and use the vlog and that so the people coming here they know it's an option for it, you know? Oh, fair play. Oh, well. Cheers. Yeah, no, cool. And you will see it. You're on YouTube, are you? Yeah. I'll give you... Yeah, we must be take a look at it. I'll show the guys, yeah. Yeah. I'll give you my card there. Cool. There you go. Brilliant. All right. Uh, Celtic... Uh, Celtic Celtic Walks. Yeah. Cool. Oh, fair play, Jim. All right. And enjoy Nepal. I'm jealous. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> take care. Nice. Fair play. Bye-bye. So, now we'll come to the... All this right. part here. If you watch the, uh, the vlog in... Uh, Wexford Town is right by the Nicky Rackard statue. There's a spot here for the bikes. You see the Volt bikes? There's four of them there. So we're going to log on to the old website-y thing and see if I can pick up one of these and then we'll head on our way back home. Okay. And then we're on. So you just take the bike out. Get out of the this part here where the chairs are. And then we'll head up. And we're off. Okay, so now we come to the this part here. If you watch the uh, the vlog in uh, Wexford Town, it's right by the Nicky Rackard statue. There's a spot here for the bikes. You see the Volt bikes? There's four of them there. So we're gonna log on to the old website -y thing and see if I can pick up one of these and then we'll head on our way back home. Okay. And then we're on. So you just take the bike out. Get out of the this part here where the chairs are. And then we'll head up. And we're off. So, that was easier that time. You seen myself, it took all of a few seconds. Get going. Okay. On our way again. We'll stay on the left hand side until we get to some foot baths for the bikes. there. It's a little tight. So we're going up the hill here on Hill Street. We're doing 18 kilometers an hour. They're decent enough bikes, but the steering feels a little funny to myself. I don't know if it's me not riding a bike in a long time or the fact that it's this it's this uh, loose but it feels like I move the handlebars and they don't move that much so 
this way around the double line lines. Let cars pass you until we find a bike path. But they're very handy. Like if you want to go something, pick up something from the shop, you just hop in. get to the, the parking spot and put it away now I checked my bank the first one which was 196 now they took a payment of six so don't know if when I was speaking to those people if there was some button I pressed that I shouldn't have but I did park in the correct spot and I don't know if I had to take a photo of it so now I'm doing 30 kilometers an hour and I'm not even pedaling just because you're going downhill a bit. This is always a fairly steep hill to climb up, but luckily don't have to this time. Now we're doing 24 going uphill, so and there's no real effort just I'm just moving my feet, assisting a bit. We're going down to 18. There was that nori that was backing into the road. So he didn't get much farther than us. Now we're just cruising up by the race course. We're doing 18 kilometers. And enjoying the sun. Got my shovel in my backpack. My mom will be here shortly, tomorrow morning. We're going to collect her. Now just if I remember, I mentioned about the uh, four Canadian subscribers that came and visit Wexford when we met up with them. It was uh, John, Fiona, Dave, and Deb from Ottawa area. And they were very, very nice people. We had some good time with them. Took them to a little cultural community center thing, which I hope they enjoyed, you know, They've seen a lot of the sites that I did my vlog and a few other ones that I didn't, so hope they had a great time. They said they did. Hopefully I'll keep in touch and uh, continue watching the vlogs. Like I said, don't forget if you want to comment to myself on potential places to see, things to do. Like I said, July, heading to Edinburgh. Um, then I have September, I'm going to Nepal, but there's a lot of time in between I'm going to have to fill up spaces with. So make sure you keep me informed, comment and hit the like button. And then what we'll do is try to get some more adventures going on in between. And there's the destination up ahead where you see the push bikes or the electric bikes, e-bikes. And then I'll put up these two trees or four trees, sorry. And then I'll edit the vlog. Okay. And now hit the end ride to avoid parking enforcement fees up to six please park take care a photo of the following okay okay so you have to take a photo of it that's where I went wrong 
see 177 so the first time i didn't take the photo i was speaking to those gentlemen and lady explaining about the the ride um so make sure you uh take a photo of it parked in the place so and that's it and let's just uh take a little click of the info of my ride my rides there we go second one we'll do the old screenshot so that was one euro and 77 cents so i went the long way down with the uh, the other route so like i said very much worth it it's very handy to get around 10 minutes you're downtown do what you want back up so for three euros or so you'd be getting in and out whereas a taxi would spend about whenever i'm taking a taxi it's usually about seven to usually give them eight i usually give them a tenner so that was a very good day uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button the like and the bell for my uploading of my upcoming videos and hope you enjoyed it and when you come to wexford make sure you use those bikes by the way it's not a paid promotion i had nothing to do with bolt i just did it on my own so the bikes are not bad